to call the family, Sister Blessing and the family, to come forward since they are social, social distancing. I think uh, people with distance socially as they bring the baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So what we want to do now is biblical. The Bible says Jesus after the time of purification in the book of Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2 from verse 22. It says, and when the days of our purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him, that's Jesus, to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. I try to understand, as it's written in the law. So when people decide to bring their babies for dedication, they recognize that God has given them that child. And they are bringing the back, the child back to God. To say, Lord, you gave me this child. This child, I'm just a caretaker. Take care of this child. I have come technically to give you back this child. So that your protection will be over this child. Your favor will be over this child. Your grace will be over this child. I try and understand. And we will pray as a church. So that the hand of the enemy will not, you know, touch this child. That this child, wherever the name of this child appears, it will command favor. Wherever the name of this uh, child appears, it will be for good and not for evil. In the name of Jesus. So I want to call the family of uh, Sister Blessing to come forward and bring their child. And let's rejoice, even if you are not that going to dance forward with them. For those who can dance forward, there's social distancing. We have space in this place. For those who cannot dance forward, just stand up and appreciate God for this gift of life. Pregnancy is a journey. And when you go through it successfully and you come out of it triumphantly, you must give God the glory. You must give God the glory. It's a show of giving God the glory for all he has done. Jehovah is Jehovah Jehovah
to your biblical injunction that Jesus in his own time was brought to the synagogue, to the temple, Lord, to be given back to you. We are brought to you, O oh Lord, this day. Eden, no, no, Eden. <laughs> many believing God for things like this that God you will answer them even this day. We use this as a point of contact that Lord they are answered will be heard in the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. Brother. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Father Lord we thank you. We give you all the glory. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for your daughter that you have brought even to your presence to be dedicated. Father, we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. And as we have prayed, oh God, even for those who are looking up to you, we pray that Lord, you will remember them for good. And at the end of everything, all the glory will be yours forever. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. If I have 10,000 tongues, it still won't be enough. Now,
that when God has done that thing that we wanted him to do for us, that there was a song that he said we should sing when we are coming to thank him and to give our testimony. And that song was, Come and See What the Lord Has Done. The journey, it has been very, very long. When people wrote me off, God did not write me off. When the doctor said that it was not possible, God said that he's the one that he will make it possible. For a long time, I was not in the house of the Lord. I was not in the spirit of the Lord. I was in the way of our mother and father back home. But the moment I said I want no part of that life, God has been merciful. He has been merciful. Every single thing that I've ever wanted, he gave it to me on a platter of gold. It was last year, pastor pushed me, I pushed me, I said I should come for the three days retreat. I have never fasted for three days before in my life. If I fast, it's 12 o'clock if I make it. <laughs> but for three days, I told God, I have never done it before, but I know that with you, I can do it. And I did. And that night that we was in that place, I dreamt I was going to have a baby girl, and I named her Eden. In January of this year, of this year, no, of last year, 2019, I dreamt, and a man in white clothes told me to go and buy a baby girl clothes. I bought baby girl clothes, and me and my son, we gave her Eden. She's my paradise. Because Eden is a paradise. It's the garden of Eden. And the garden of Eden is a paradise. And it's just for me to say that anything that we want, because he said that he will give it to us, we should just remember to ask him. He has gave it to me. So my life should be a testimony. That whatever you want, he will give it to you. Praise the Lord. I also want to give another testimony. Because tomorrow is my son's birthday. Osaze will be nine years old. As Pastor said, I'm going to write a book. Because my son, Osaze, it means God. It's because of God. His, name, his English name is Evans. And it means that he will be great. I will write a book. Hallelujah. Let's give Praise it to the Lord. Lord. Let's give a clap offering to the Lord. The God that did it for Sister Blessing, we do it for someone. Let's sing a song as they dance back. Please join them to dance back as we close the service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. See, Jehovah is.